Hello everyone, happy new year, it's 2024, let's go! new desk uh tv in the background i unfortunately put the mic right here so technically i should be right here to make it you know visually right but and you know i don't like this glare on the sake costume but we'll figure all this out eventually get a ring light i don't know first we begin with a belated birthday to tombo underscore i already said happy birthday to you but happy birthday again now if i had been doing meerkat mondays for like this whole entire year, we would have a cute moment of the year, but I'm not about to attempt to even try to figure that one out, you know? So, back to the old, reliable. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! And just cause I was recently reminded of it, here's Gogo Yubari saying hi. I do hope everyone had a good New Year's, you know, I, I certainly understand people who like had hard times, had a hard year. Personally, I think if I didn't have a channel and wasn't making content, 2023 would be like very, very depressing. I think a lot of us have yet to even recover from 2020, so like don't feel too bad. Just keep on trunking, people. That said, I don't know how many times I can thank everyone for the support. You know, this whole segment, you know, me appearing on camera, like face, all this stuff, you know, it would have died right away if I just got an influx of negative comments. It would have been like, okay, never mind. Bad experiment going back to the Meerkat avatar thingy, which will still be there. I'm, I'm working on getting personal art eventually. But anyways, I'm glad you all were supportive of all this and you like these segments. That's why I keep doing them. And, but anytime I feel anxious about like doing these, you know, I, I get my inspiration and motivation from Milo, Mini Miniman on YouTube. You know, he does uh, he does like archaeology content, debunk stuff. He's a lot of fun, sarcastic guy. He's wonderful. I love Milo, but he gives me a lot of confidence too. And since I'm shouting out creative inspirations from YouTube, you know, I mean, Video game donkey is the goat. He's my god, you know. Max Durat is my psychological alchemical Jungian video essayist. You know, stay yellow. Future Canoe is my food content. Ain Run and Little Aggie are my soul streamers, all constantly on the background, constantly. Ariona is my wrestling streamer. We had a lot of fun yesterday. Extra Emily is my 15 seconds of quick cuteness injector. And Will Neff is my fucking guy. I love Will Neff. So those are some of my content creators who inspire me greatly. And <laughs> no one asked for that either. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to some news, you know. There's far too much to honestly talk about, you know, but obviously Stardom had their big pay-per-view, you know. So, spoiler. Micah won the red belt and finished her story before Cody Rhodes, defeating Suzu Suzuki. I know it said that Suzu should win and she strapped a rocket on her and go, but there was a moment where I realized something, you know. And it's pretty obvious, actually, that Suzu was trying to go on, like, the same path as Julia did, you know. And Julia seemingly chose to emotionally support Suzu over Micah, you know? But Suzu failed. So Micah versus Julia needs to happen soon. And you know what? This long-term story of Suzu failing gives her a lot of motivation. And that's what I like. I like seeing my favorites lose. That's just something I like seeing, you know? Because there's more motivation and more material for them to work with as an actor, as a theatrical performer, you know? That's just what I like watching wrestling for. And when wrestlers lose, there's a lot of stakes to them, there's a lot of emotions going on, you know, and I think it's something exciting. Anyways, that's just my mere interpretation, of course, you know, but let's continue. New white belt champion, sorry, Ano is very exciting, you know, for me at least, because Ano is legit one of my favorite competitors. But let's give some claps. To the Clapion, Mirai, because honestly, I think Mirai is an A-tier wrestler, I do, you know, she's got a great smile, great movesets, and I thought this was her best performance in a theatric sense, I thought her expressions were beautiful and showed a lot of heart, her final face as the loss was seeping in, it's just beautiful, beautiful work. 
Any critiques on Anno being too stoic though for the belt of emotion is unfounded because there's more to emotion than the Tam Nakano Sayakamatani method, you know? Anno is subtle and when she shows emotion, it's very slight. But you have to be paying attention to her face. It's there. It's all in her body language. Get off Twitter while she's wrestling that match and watch her. And in my opinion, it's far more powerful that way. But Anno is a great actress. It's her background after all. And speaking of Tam Nakano, she appeared and gave Anno the all-important Tamu buff, but she also stated to the crowd that she will return one day. So all the Tam believers just gotta keep their head down and keep praying and believing in Tam to hop back on Tam Road. God damn it, Tam it will rule, Tam it. But here's Tam on a horse leading the way down to Tam Road. Oh, now, now congrats to Micah and Anno. But the real, the real exciting news is a big spoiler, but only if you're following the actress girls. So spoiler. Marty is the new AWG single point champion. Yes. Yes, I love her. I cannot wait for that shoulder drop. She is so cool, man. So cool. If you have not watched the last champion, Miko Aono, she was their previous champion and the champion for their restart. Because this is the perfect time to jump into AWG. Just hop on and watch their steps to catch up. There are not many. But Miku's title matches have been really good, serious wrestling matches. This company, AWG, is a balanced blend of everything that I love about wrestling. Now for Tease news, sadly, Free Wi-Fi had to drop the Princess Tag Tiles because Ikari Noah is currently dealing with health problems and I sincerely hope it's nothing too serious. All the best wishes to Noah. There's a lot of exciting shows coming up though. We have Wrestle Kingdom, we have Stardom Show, we have Tease has a show, AWG has a show, Choco Pro has a show. Choco Pro has been live streaming the last two days and has two more shows starting tonight. So go to the YouTube, go to the live tab, hit the bell on the next show and it'll tell you when it comes out because it, be, it can be confusing. It's, confu it's confusing for me, but they usually start at DJ hours for us Americans, you know, but anyways, stay tuned for Mei Suruga versus Amasaki on their big Got The Moose show. And speaking of Choco Pro, Shuri graduated from professional wrestling and had her last match accompanying Chone and getting heavily involved. We will all miss her. The ninja has exited stage left and may her dreams follow. There's probably more that I'm forgetting, like, I don't know. I don't know what, you know, but I don't want to make these too long, you know? Anyways, we are back on the grind, folks. Back to the grind of content. I hope to evolve it and further my brand, you know? Thank you all. Half a million views. 3,000 shares. You all rock. You just do, you know? Thank you, thank you so much. So thank you all, and be well, and enjoy the new outro. I love you. Do you love me? Uri ga manangon destiny. Destiny. Thank you.